Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about using MDF as a substrate for vacuum work holding using our VacuDog system. Hopefully I can answer some questions and dispel some myths about that topic. I'm also going to test different ways that you can seal MDF, whether it's because you're wanting to seal your MFT for general use or because you're trying to improve the vacuum that can be pulled. The results are really interesting and I hope you'll stick around to see them. But spoiler alert, I'll tell you right now, with the right pump, the right seal, the right measures to mitigate leakage, there's absolutely no issue with using MDF as a substrate with our VacuDog system. It's all about minimizing leakage and having the right pump that can overcome it. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk about vacuum pumps and I have several laid out here. The first pump is a two and a half CFM vacuum pump. It came from Harbor Freight. It works really good, but it requires oil. So it can be a bit messy, like when it exhausts, some of that oil residue comes out. And it's just not our favorite for that reason, but it does work and it works pretty good. The next pump is a 50 liter per minute or about 1.77 CFM oilless vacuum pump. Uh, and it's designed for continuous use. So we'll come back to her in a minute. This is the DeWalt version of the Grabo. And I know you've seen a lot of people lately using a Grabo to power their vacuum pods. You know, we really like the Grabo for its intended purpose, but we don't recommend it for this application for a variety of reasons. But that's a topic for a future video. While it's not a hill that I'm ready to die on today, I will tell you this. This is an equivalent pump that's used to power the Grabo. It is a 20 liter per minute dry diaphragm vacuum pump. It has about 0.77 CFM. So do your own research, make your own decision, and make sure that Grabo will warranty that pump for this application should it eventually fail. So let's come back to this girl. This is the pump or one like it that we like and recommend because it's designed for continuous operation. It's affordable and it'll do the job for most applications using the VacuDog. Of course, you can always invest in a more expensive and powerful pump but you really don't need it if you're only going to use one or two vacuum dogs in your MFT. When you get right down to it, there's really only four keys to providing sufficient vacuum to hold most any kind of material. The vacuum pump, the seal or the gasketing, the measures that you take to mitigate leakage, and the porosity of the material. So today we're obviously focusing on MDF, but in all of our testing, we have found that there's some materials, particularly light plywood, that is actually more porous and doesn't hold nearly as well as MDF. So the material that you're using is a big part of the equation. Not only is the type of the material that you're holding a factor, but the thickness of the material also plays a role. For example, we can get three quarter inch MDF to hold solid, but the same MDF and quarter inch thickness, and well, you might have some problems. And as a side note, to complicate matters even more, Elevation plays a role in this equation. So generally the rule of thumb is the higher you go up in elevation, the less vacuum holding power you'll have. So if you're sitting on the beach in sunny California, you're gonna be able to pull more vacuum than if you're in the Rockies in Colorado. MDF comes in a lot of different flavors and I can't account for all of them, but today I'm gonna to be testing with the same MDF that I use with our track top MFTs. It's a high quality moisture resistant MDF and it can be used without sealing it. Yes, MDF does leak, but if you only take one thing away from this video, I hope that you'll just remember that as long as you have a pump that can overcome the leakage, you have the proper seal or gasketing, and you take measures to mitigate the leakage, you can hold almost any type of material successfully, including MDF. If you choose to seal your MFT, you're probably only gonna get marginal improvements on your vacuum, and I'm gonna demonstrate that in a minute but you will also provide further protection from moisture and other contaminants to your MFT top. We've tested a lot of different ways to seal MDF, but for the purpose of today's test, we've chosen things that are spray applications with the exception of one of our favorites, which is a wipe on. They all are easy to apply and they'll provide the protection that you need. What I have here is a piece of MDF that I've divided out into equal zones. I've sealed the back with polyurethane and in these zones I have polyacrylic, polyurethane, shellac, spar urethane, and Howard's feed and wax, and then nothing at all, raw MDF. The first thing we're gonna do is get a baseline reading of how much vacuum is coming straight out of this pump. 
So we got our baseline rating of 11.9. I got 12 earlier, but we're in the ballpark. Now, I have this piece of acrylic with a gauge on it. I'm using acrylic because it won't leak. And we're about to find out which method, if any, works the best. And I think you might be surprised. Okay, so our baseline numbers are in, so what we're going to do now is actually pull vacuum on a piece of MDF and measure that. And I'm going to pick a random zone back here that's been sealed. I think I'll just use the Howard Feed and Wax zone. I'll tell you right now, what you're going to see is we're going to lose one PSI, but you're also going to see that this is going to provide more than enough holding power to do your operations if, say, you're working on a door panel. The other thing that you're going to see is exactly why we like pumps that are designed for continuous running versus something like the Grabo. This pump is able to overcome the leakage and still maintain a consistent holding force. So in the words of the prolific Paul Harvey, now you know the rest of the story. As you see, if you choose to seal your MFT, you can get marginal improvements in vacuum. Whether or not you do it, that's up to you. And whichever method you choose to use, they're all about the same. But at the end of the day, the vacuum dog system is a perfect solution for vacuum work holding on your MFT, whether you're sanding, routing, or doing other operations. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've answered some questions and dispelled some myths. If you would like to learn more about the vacuum dog technology, watch this video. And be sure to go to our website, tracktubes.com, and get on the subscriber list so you'll be notified first when we release new products and offer discounts. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Morris.